let's say that you know you have made the decision to kick start your devops career but you are not sure where to start or how to start so one of the first and foremost thing is you know you have to have some cloud knowledge and you can start off with learning aws so how can you get started on aws right so you can uh, sign up in this website you know login into aws.amazon.com sign up using your email and they are giving you one year basic free tire account you may have to put in your credit card information and make sure you know you secure your aws account by enabling multi-factor authentication okay so that is the first step setting up your aws free tire account and what is the second step many enterprises are moving away from centralized repositories into git model so github bitbucket and gitlab right they all support git based repositories very important that you have that uh, git knowledge okay so how can you develop that knowledge okay so yes you can go ahead and install git client on your local machine okay so once you have git client on your machine and then you know you will be able to access any of the repositories okay you can also go ahead and sign up uh, using your email you know in one of these uh, you know uh, git based repositories they are all cloud based uh, which are like purely software as a service model so it is good that you know you have your account set up in one of these uh, account okay and then the third step is yes you all have to have solid linux in administration knowledge okay it is very important that you all have a solid linux basics knowledge okay uh, so how can you get started okay you know you can go to youtube or you can sign up in udemy uh, you know in order to start learning some basics okay because most of the devops tools are based in linux most of these production servers are based in linux okay so it is very important that you have that uh, linux knowledge make sure that you know you you start start off by learning linux basics okay and then the fourth thing is yes if you want to learn devops okay it is very important that you also have some agile knowledge okay uh, because many companies are in the process of uh, moving away from waterfall into agile and of course you know many companies are also uh, you know in the process of bringing the automation right um, so this is where you know as a devops engineer you are going to work with agile teams okay um, so it's very important that you know you understand how agile actually work right how the software is being uh, developed uh, you know in in agile and scrum methodology right so so you need to have that uh, kind of a basic knowledge okay and of course there are uh, some uh, useful links available so you can uh, go and you know start learning about that okay so i also have posted few links here as well uh, it is you know if you're interested you can go ahead and then you know check on that okay awesome and then the fifth step is yes so devops is all about automation right uh, automate everything right so that is like one of the fundamental principles of uh, devops so how can you learn automation so this is where you know you have to start learning the scripting okay so what kind of scripting so you can learn uh, you know basic shell scripting or python scripting or even ruby uh, scripting as well okay and it is also good to have uh, some knowledge on the groovy as well okay so let's say um, you started uh, your career as a devops engineer let's say the company is using jenkins and whatnot right uh, you may have to write uh, pipeline code and whatnot okay so yes so what language you're going to use you're going to use groovy language okay for creating pipelines and whatnot okay so yes yeah, so, so that is another thing you know you want to learn okay the scripting the important that you know you have some knowledge on in each category right so for example starting from uh, scm source code management uh, yes you know good to have git github bitbucket knowledge okay and from continuous integration standpoint you need to have a jenkins knowledge and then from code quality uh, sonar cube is one of the top uh, code quality tools out there and then from uh, infrastructure automation or configuration management standpoint there are three tools terraform ansible and puppet and from containers perspective yes docker and then yes if you also know kubernetes it's much better but start off with uh, you know having a solid uh, docker uh, knowledge and then you can uh, you know uh, sc scale up to uh, kubernetes as well and then um, from collaboration standpoint yes there are a bunch of uh, collaboration tools out there uh, but you know slack is one of the popular uh, tools um, and then from binary repo manager yes you can uh, learn either nexus or artifactory okay so these two are uh, top tools uh, from a binary repo manager standpoint okay so yeah so that is what guys you know after you have 
some basic uh, Linux scripting and then uh, basic process knowledge, it is important that you know you start uh, learning some of these tools, you know, one by one. Okay, awesome guys, you know, that's all I wanted to share. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching guys.